The Montreal Canadiens and sniper Cole Caulfield have finally agreed to a contract extension. Habs fans have been waiting anxiously ever since Caulfield was eligible to sign a new deal. Avoiding any offer sheets that almost certainly would have come his way and getting him at determined money that will help keep the Habs on track in terms of cap management. Kudos to the Habs. I'll give you all the details and what it means for the Habs going forward. That's right here at Talkin' Habs. Cole Caulfield. Kudos to GM Kent Hughes and everybody that was involved on the Canadian side um, in this negotiation because this was um, masterful. The Montreal Canadiens have signed Cole Caulfield to an eight-year, $62.8 million contract extension. It was announced just this morning. Um, we've been waiting for this for the longest amount of time. Caulfield was uh, signed through 2030, 2031, and his contract will carry a $7.85 million um, AAV, which is 25000 less than Nick Suzuki. Um, which was a question that was, uh, you know, everybody was talking about is, is it going to get more? Is it going to get less? How is it going to work out? Uh, here's um, the cap friendly um, listing. It's a little hard to see, but circled there is Cole Caulfield, 7.850 um, a million per season. And that runs for a long time. And it's nice to see um, Nick Suzuki there at the top, 7.875. So that's a $25,000. Um, difference. All questions about Cole Caulfield's commitment to Montreal, and there's been questions about that because he's American. Uh, he wants too much money. He wants a bridge deal because he wants to leave right away, wants to get traded. All that out the window. Cole Caulfield committed to Montreal, to winning here in Montreal, and it's just like he has said all along. So this contract I think clearly shows that the Habs have a pay hierarchy and nobody's going to get paid more than Nick Suzuki, at least for now, because it's ridiculous to think that, you know, in five years when the cap is up way up that they're not going to sign somebody for a bigger money. So, but for the next two, three years, you got to figure nobody's coming in um, higher than that. So uh, this brings a question because of all the Pierre-Luc Dubois rumors that have been out there you know, for the last couple of years about him wanting to come here. Um, obviously, I I think uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois is going to be looking for higher than that kind of money, um, more along the lines of $9 million, in my opinion. Uh, so is that going to affect him wanting to come here? And are we going to find out that he doesn't really want to come here, at least not for that kind of money? So because, I mean, if he signs here, say, in the next year, or they trade for him right now and they sign him because they'll only – He'll be a UFA in a year. They're clearly they're not going to pay him more than they're paying Nick Suzuki. So Pierre Luc Dubois is going to have to want to be signed for less than seven point eight million. The fact that it's not a bridge deal because I've talked about it in a video that an option was to sign him to a two or three year bridge deal and then sign him to a long term deal like a prove me type of thing and then he gets his money, um, which is risky because if you do that the contract could be worth way more than what you can get him at now. I think the Montreal Canadiens felt that way and wanted to have this deal be the eight year, seven or eight year and keep the money down as much as they can. Um, and this, this deal accomplishes that it's an amazing deal. I think it also, uh, it, it shows that the Habs have clear confidence in Caulfield's upward trajectory as far as goal scoring anyway. And if you look at Caulfield's history, um, he has every tier that he's gone into, he's every year gotten better. And here we'll take a look at his hockey DB and see if we can see that. Um, and you you can see that. He, he gets better um, everywhere he goes. He scores, and it's not in doubt. And in here in Montreal, in 67 games, um, Two seasons ago now, <laughs> that's 21-22. He had 23 goals and 20 assists. And, and this past season before he got injured in 46 games, had 26 goals, 10 assists. So clearly his goal scoring trajectory is upward, um, just like his whole history, his whole life. And Montreal Canadiens are, are confident in that. And I also think, considering he just was injured and had shoulder surgery, that I think they're confident in the fact that his shoulder is 100%. 
Cole Caulfield can now cement his name into the history of the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that's one of the draws for him to want to be here and win here. He loves the tradition. He loves the history. He's spoken about it before. And now it's his turn and his chance to be amongst all those great names uh, in the history of the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that's what he's going to do. And I believe that he actually will accomplish that. I believe um, Montreal Canadiens are on a path to at least being contenders and vying for a Stanley Cup. I believe they'll win one or two over the next you know, over the next seven, eight years when we with Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield. And who else knows is going to be a name like that coming up? Now, as far as the deal that was negotiated, now I've been saying this before, GM Kent Hughes is a shark. He was a uh, a, a shark as a, as a player agent. And if you don't believe me, go look at some of the deals he made for some of his clients. And you tell me he's not a shark. He's turned that around being a GM. And he is negotiating great contracts because this will end up being a steal. If you don't think it is today, give it two, three years. And you're going to say, I can't believe the money he was signed to. So... Kent, Kent Hughes is just a shark as a negotiator and this proves it. So how does this impact the Habs going forward? Very clearly, um, it impacts that top line. Uh, that top line has two pieces now cemented. This is another one of your stud players, offensive studs that you want, you need to win if you're going to win Stanley Cups. He has already shown that he can play in the playoffs. The first season his rookie was wasn't his rookie year. He only played um, he only played twenty games, I think, in the playoffs. Um, he had played ten games in the regular season. In that twenty games in the playoffs, four goals, eight assists, twelve points. As a not even rookie yet, it tells you that he is going to be at least somewhat of a playoff performer to maybe a guy that absolutely steps it up when it comes to playoff time. That's what I think we're going to get from Cole Caulfield. And um, yeah. There you go. So you can see Cole Caulfield's numbers, 123 games played, 53 goals, 31 assists for 84 points. In 83 games, under Coach Marty St. Louis, Cole Caulfield, I believe, has 71 points. And, you know, that's a uh, full season. If he's getting 71 points or 70 points a year, um, I'll take that. And it'll be worth every dime. Because uh, I think he'll get higher than that. I think he's going to chase 50 goals. And maybe higher in his career. I wouldn't be surprised if Cole Caulfield, when we look back on his career, he'll have a season where he had 60 goals. So I think that's what um, I, I think that's what he's capable of. And I believe starting next season, we're going to see another chase for 50 goals. And if not 50, I'm quite confident Cole Caulfield will score 40 goals in a full season when he's healthy. So let me know what you guys think about the signing and about Cole Caulfield, whatever you want, in the comment section. And that's it. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe. Peace out, y'all, and have a good day. Ciao, everybody.